Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on an 18th century French haute couture style Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And I'll be showing the face up, the hairstyling, as well as some final photos at the end. I kind of started the dress on a whim one night and didn't record it, but I promise in the next coming videos you'll be seeing some costume construction and some other fun dolls I did for Halloween. Plus, I've been asked a lot to show how I style the hair, so I'm really happy to be able to share that with you in this video today. So this Sally is a set of three dolls that I did for a small collection, which included a Jack Skellington version, a Corpse Bride, and this Sally. And at the time I'm making this video, the Corpse Bride and the Sally have already sold, but the Jack Skellington version is still available if you're interested, so check that out in the link below to my Etsy shop. I can also do three month payment plans. So as usual, I get started by adding a, a layer of white watercolor pencil. And I like to do that even when the doll is white, just to kind of start with the layer and shape the eye. And then I can, I, it, that really helps shape the eye because at that point I can erase to get it to the shape that I want it. And then I just start to add the line work around it. I'm using a Laguna Blue. I usually use her for the Sally because she has the big round eyes and I like how that looks. And I'm using Pan Pastels. And I'm using this sort of turquoise blue color or Carolina blue. So the supplies I use are in the description box below along with affiliate links including a link to my Amazon shop where I've listed all the supplies I use with comments on how I use them. And purchases made through that shop give me a small commission so it's much appreciated if you make any purchases there. So I'm just layering on this Carolina blue color just to give a little bit of a base. And I'm blending it out towards the center of the face. I don't want her to be entirely coated in blue. I don't want to change her skin tone that much. I just want to have sort of a soft blue uh, shading. Onto the lips, I'm taking some of this magenta and red pan pastel, mixing them on a paper towel and starting to shape the lips. For these Marie Antoinette uh, French couture style dolls, I like to give uh, just a big plump uh, round lip or heart shaped lip, sort of like the Queen of Hearts. And I've been teaching some classes lately at uh, Michael's shops and as I've been doing that I'm realizing I'm not really sure why I start out with a pastel because I tend to go over it with pencil but it, it allows me to do a little bit of shading mainly on the bottom lip where I like to leave a highlight to make it look a little fuller and then I just usually pencil in over the pastel that I added for the upper lip but it just works for me I'm not really sure why I do it that way um, but when I'm teaching my classes, I kind of ask that the students do it this way to learn. If you're interested in learning and aren't able to attend my classes in person, which I will be trying to have those available in other states eventually, but if you're not able to attend, I do do some teaching uh, tutorials on my Patreon. So you can check out what I have to offer there in the link below. So now I'm taking this darker blue and I'm shading in some of the areas. Like I want to give her sort of a sad look. Um, so I'm shading in the areas around the inner, uh, corner, inner corners of the eye and upper eyelids. Just to make a darker blue in those areas. And then I'm taking a little bit of that blue to make her Sally uh, stitched smile. And I kind of liked how it turned out. It worked well with the way that it had the sort of full Marie Antoinette lips. 
I've always been attracted to this 18th century Marie Antoinette kind of style. I think it goes back to when I was a kid, I had this Cinderella book, and it was a really old hand-me-down book where the illustrations were done up with these huge hairstyles and elaborate dresses. And in fact, one of my very first custom, I think it was like my second or third custom I did, was in this style, and that was back in like 2000, end of 2011 or beginning of 2012, and it was in this style, and it was just, it was a fluffy pink. I'll see if I can find a picture to show here, but it was kind of like a fluffy pink girl with a fan. <laughs> but I've always really liked that, and I think that it kind of goes back to that book, which I loved. It was just a children's book. I've done several of this style over the years, so I, it's been a while since I've done them, so I wanted to try a few more, and I thought, well, why don't I do some character versions um, as in that style? And I love how they turned out. They were a lot of fun. So here I'm just working on the stitching. I'm doing some shading. I'm first adding a bit of blue before I add the like the holes where the stitches would go through I'm trying to show you another angle of how I go back I'm using a um, craft white craft paint to do the stitches there and one of my other Sally's I did the eyes this way and I really liked it where I added like the three colors to the eyes so I went with that again it's the one that's usually like my profile picture and kind of my brand doll. So now I'm going to add the pupils. And I usually don't lately have been doing the pupils where I don't add, I used to do them completely black solid, but now I like to just kind of do a little bit of an illusion, not fill in the circle entirely kind of a style choice. And now I'm just adding my little highlights on the cheeks and eyes like I've always liked to do. So I'm using this sort of terracotta, terracotta or uh, burnt sienna sort of powder for the, or pan pastel for the eyebrows. And I just dusted those on and shaped them with uh, an eraser and then went back with a pencil. For some reason I don't have that recorded, but I just added some pencil marks to as, as the hairs. I also did some shading on the upper lid and then I add some eyelashes. If I have a video in my, I have a like tutorials in my playlists and I should have a video in there on how I um, add eyelashes. So if you're interested in that, I'll try to add an eye card here if you're interested in seeing that video. So onto the hair styling. I add a tiny bit of this like unscented styling gel I just got at the dollar store just so it would hold the shape. And now I'm pulling out a few pieces of hair to curl around the edges of the face. And to do that, I'm just using this tiny flat iron on a uh, chopstick, a metal chopstick, and wrapping it around like a corkscrew. And I did that in a few different areas around the hair. And that gel will just hold that curl a little bit better than if I didn't use it. And now I'll just do some sort of knots. At this point, I usually will try to just kind of hold the hair in certain directions to just to decide how I want it to look. And I'll do a little bit of teasing and part the hair with, I use a rat tail comb. So I'm just kind of trying to play around with it to see what shape I want it to hold. And I'm thinking I wanted to do a sort of French roll in the back and that's what I'm trying to do here. So I did the French roll and then I take a rubber band and tie it into sort of a ponytail. And 
and then I'm using that same technique with the chopstick to add some curls below that. And then I just kind of play with it to fix the shape. And I'm, I will sometimes put, uh, depending on the size of the hair, I'll sometimes put a, a bobby pin in. I think that's what I just did there to hold it a little bit better. I started out with the hair cut in this puffy style and then I ended up kind of breaking it up and making it a little wider. And I'm using this pencil to give it a little bit of wave or not pencil, uh, chopstick. I'm heating the chopstick and then kind of holding it there just to give it a little bit of wave in the front. Because I want that wave that's already in the hair itself or the yarn itself, but I want it a little bit stronger, so I'm heating it up a little. And there you see I'm pu pulling it out a little bit to make it a little rounder, and then I felt, okay, that's perfect there. And I, then when I'm finally done, I'll just add a tiny bit more of the styling gel just to smooth it out and hold its shape. Before I go, I just want to say thank you so much for my Patreon patrons on Patreon for your support and making these videos possible. If you haven't already, check out the my previous video where I did a collab with them and I was just blown away with how awesome their work was and we just had a blast. So make sure to check that video out if you haven't already. Um, also, heads up, I will have limited commission spots available for Christmas, before Christmas, so if you're interested, reach out to me as soon as possible so I can put you on the list. And if you like this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you like the doll, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!